go again. This is a matchup that we see pretty often. Although usually not in winner's side. Three, two, but one, go. Well, this matchup is favored on Zero Suit Samus' part, right? It is very favored on Zero Suit Samus. Damon taking the lead with a 45 stock. Uh, 45, yeah. uh, cool string to start off with. Just like Martha's trouble really being able to co cover Zero Suit Samus' options with Flip Kick, mainly because he doesn't really have a lasting hitbox. Although he does have the range to sort of contest it, which is something that some other characters can't really say. But he can also get punished very common, very often by Damon for just throwing out any tilt in neutral on the account of Zero Suit's really high speed and Mark's considerable end like. And look at that F smash. Almost killing Damon. Yeah, if only it were Tiffered. So, what do you think both of these players are looking for in here? Zeus is definitely looking for an entrance where, uh, where, uh, Marth already has attack. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's called, the, yeah, with punishing? Punishing. And, because if I'm Carl D, I want to be, like, ambiguous in my approach, so sometimes I'll go in and I'll be able to hit her. And sometimes I'll retreat so that she can't hit me if I throw out a move. So that's kind of how you play around with punishing. But, oh, that's so tragic. Probably could have gone for the up hit in order to connect the last hit. But even then, I'm not sure if it would have killed. And for both characters, the kill options, well, Marv will kill off a back air. And at this point, a lot of other stuff too, like that S smash. Whereas Zero Suit Samus kills back air, side special. Oh, Ooh. the uh, dolphin slash outer shield will take it. You cannot. You. I think Damon was expecting Carl to roll away, so that's why he threw out the whip. But evidently, Carl chose to stand his ground. Car Cody really making up sense. With, uh, really making up with his uh, stock. Yet he is piling, like growing his lead, and in part it's because he's forcing Damon to approach since he has the lead. And oh, that nearly did it. <laughs> oh, still, still I, killing Damon at that. He still takes a stock. And yeah, that's one of those weird things is when you have invincibility and you use the Zero Suit Samus's down special and you would trade. That's what happens. And Damon at this point is not really sure what he's looking for. Up there uh, won't do it just yet. Up here would have taken it there. But he's getting a little too happy trying to land these kill options. And he knows that Marth does have the range advantage. So it's really hard for him to get in without Ooh, committing. Inside, he's playing, uh, cars. Yeah, that does cover a lot of electric get-up options very well. Ooh, good paralyzer out of the, the knockdown. Oh no, that grab is so risky. Oh, Carl just doesn't fly far enough out of that barrier in order to go into the up smash. But from when Damon started this game, his consistency on his berry punishes has gotten a lot higher. Just kind of ignore those last two. <laughs> and the thing about Zero Suit Samus is that she doesn't really ledge trap. Oh, the down smash! That was beautiful, but it still doesn't kill. And Damon's uh, stock is gone. Carl, he takes it with a two stock game one. So, uh, where do you think, uh, Car no, 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 Damon, where would you think Damon would go, uh, for stages? I feel like he didn't feel like he had enough room to run around on the stage, g given that it is, like, the smallest stage, so I think he's gonna go for something wide, like Pokemon Stadium or Town, although he also, th I also remember that he likes, uh, oh, Battlefield. Battlefield. Battlefield does Stop, battle. allow uh, Zero Suit Samus to use her infinite 
infamous ladder combos. Oh, the color counter pick. I like it. So, I think one thing that Damon could be doing is he could be using Nair, which is he could be using Nair more, which is a move that Marth has trouble contesting, and also leads into kill combos like down special. But it's probably audio with a 48% lead. Yeah, like for Nair right there, starts a combo. But obviously, if he does that at that height, it's not safe. And one thing about Marth is that he struggles really to edge guard because the fear of him hitting a sour spot and getting an unsuccessful edge guard is really high. So rather, Marth would like to stand on stage and ledge trap. And Carl D is especially fond of ledge trapping. But with Zero Suit Samus, you have so many options to get off the ledge. Granted, it's really hard to edge guard Zero Suit Samus as well, but her horizontal, her recovery options off the ledge are very good. And uh, the pivot up. F tilt will nearly do it. But I think like two more of those backers and oh, beautiful landing shield breaker. The unexpected option just throws him off. So in Tekken, one of the things is that because every character's best moves are so well known, rather one of the things that top players will do is they'll use some less commonly used moves to throw off the timing of their opponent. And that's kind of what Carl D did there with his shield breaker off landing. Oh, the jab lock F smash. Unfortunately, it wasn't a deeper hit, but it's still going to give him a sizable lead. Dash attack will break through the Marth zone. You really see Dame is struggling trying to approach that uh, uh. Yes, and it's also just he's getting punished so often for approaching. Whereas Carl D right now, he doesn't have to approach, and that's when Marth is strongest. It's when you can afford to keep your opponent at the distance, and you don't have to be proactive. But that Paralyzer whip will take that stock. Now both players' stocks are even. With the amount of cheating that Zero Suit Samus does, this might as well be an even game. Oh. Tara takes the second stock. Tipper F tilt will take that stock. And Carl D has barely been touched. Wow, a full lap by Carl D. This was not the result I expected, but. It's a very good result for Damon. I mean, for Carl D. And that empty hop feint is so scary. Especially since Damon doesn't know whether to respect it or whether to uh, use an anti air to try to get out of it. And one thing I've noticed is that to Carl D is going to be using a lot of those side feet in order to wave bounce or just to maneuver himself in the air, which helps the... Oh no, Ooh, he mashes so out! Oh. Carl D gets the elusive punish on that flip kick. Good stuff. And at this point, almost anything will kill both players at kill percent. Obviously, one person is gonna stalk, but it's still a very tense situation. Oh, if he just went a little bit lower, that par Paralyzer would have hit. Damon choosing to respect Carl D, not trying to intrude in space. We'll see if... But he's playing so timidly right now. Oh, because Carl D was in the air, he couldn't get buried by that to down hit of flip kick. And... Oh, that'll do it. He's just showing off at this point. But at 162%, anything will kill. Even the up throw will do it. Actually, don't quote me on that. Up throw might not kill. 
I think it could. It could, but Marth's up throw is just hilariously bad. Oh, oh, and the fair does it. It is gone. Carlton takes it 2-0.